Has it ever happened to you that you learned a new concept in physics and forgot it after a few days? You studied hard and learned it, but now you have completely forgotten it. Most people face this problem while learning something new. What is the reason behind it? Think about it. In this video, I will share a great technique and trust me, after this, you will never forget anything that you learned. Richard Feynman was an American theoretical physicist and winner of the Nobel Prize. Feynman said that if you forgot something that you learned, that means you never understood the concept properly. Feynman said you can easily find out whether you have learned something well or not just by trying to explain the concept to a 5-year-old. If you can make a 5-year-old understand what you learned, that means you have learned it well. Feynman never used to help his students and colleagues if they failed to explain the problem problem in the simplest way possible. Now I will share the technique given by Feynman to learn anything faster and remember for a long time. This technique is also known as the Feynman technique. The technique has four steps. Number one, identify the subject. First, to write down everything you know about the subject. Gather all the information you can get related to the subject. Number two, teach it to a child. This is the most important step. Now, whatever you have learned in step one, try to explain it to a five-year-old. If you can make the child understand, that means you have mastered the subject. You must be thinking, is it necessary to teach to a child? Can't I teach my colleagues or classmates? The answer is absolutely no. The reason behind this step is that you can easily explain what you have learned to your classmates or colleagues. But when it comes to a child, you cannot use complex words and terminologies because the child won't understand it. So your explanation needs to be in the simplest form. And also, the attention period of a 5-year-old is very low. So your explanation needs to be very simple and fast. If you can achieve this, that means you have learned it properly. The step is not easy as it sounds, but with practice, you will master this. Number 3. Identify your knowledge gap Now, While explaining the concept to the child, notice the places it was hard to explain. Notice where you lacked knowledge and where you failed to explain the subject to the child. This is the step where real learning happens. After identifying the knowledge gaps, go back to the source and fill the voids. Number 4. Organize, simplify and craft a story. In the previous three steps, you have learned something new, you have identified the knowledge gaps and filled the voids while explaining it to a child. Now bring all the notes and pick up the most vital pieces of knowledge and, and finally gather the vital pieces and come up with a story. Once you make a story, pretend that you are in front of a class and start narrating the concepts as the story. This way you will realize the places where your story was not simple. Use analogies and simple terms to make it easy and understandable. And after you complete all the four steps successfully, you have mastered the topic you learned. This technique requires some time to perfect, but the best way to perfection is by starting it. So start using the technique and I'm quite sure one day you will perfect at it. So friends, that's it for today. If you found this video useful, do hit the like button. And for more such videos, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep learning.